Welcome to MMB Airgun Review. Today we'll be field stripping the 1911 1776 Sig Sauer CO2 blowback air pistol BB gun. This is not a real firearm, and any procedures used in this video should not be considered reliable to field strip a real firearm. That being said, we are going to go dive right into this and just pay a little attention. With some common sense, you can take care of this yourself. Now, this should be handled like a real firearm. We do want to make sure that the magazine is out of the gun. And we want to make sure that there is nothing, no BBs in the chamber at all. Okay? So we got that. So what you're going to want to do, take your magazine out. Slide your slide back. It is under spring tension. Pull it back. And there's going to be a little groove right here under your 1776. Not the big groove, but a little one. It's hard to see on these. On the other side of your gun, there is this little button right here. Just like a standard 1911. You pull it back. Line this notch up together. Push on this side. And that is going to release it a little bit where you can get your fingernail under it. And you're simply going to grab that. And you're going to pull it right out. Now these can be a little tricky going back in, but we'll we'll get to that when we come to it. So while realize that this is still under spring pressure, so you're going to want to release the slide slowly, maintaining control of the slide, and simply pull it right off and separate it from the lower. Sit your lower aside, sit your pin aside. We'll get back to that. Now there are some things on this you're going to want to add some Pelgun oil to. Simply new out of the box. These things are not lubricated at all. I don't know why they do that, but for proper maintenance, you're going to want all your moving parts lubricated. So grab yourself some Pelgun oil. I have already done this. So um, as I'll go, I can show you where to do. We're going to do in this mechanism in here, but first we're going to disassemble this. Now you do not need to push this button in the front. Do not worry about that. What you're going to do is you're going to grab this little ridged area right here. Be careful because there is a seal in there and you're going to hold this and pull this forward with your fingers. It may seem a little rough. Pull it forward, up, and out. So you're going to have a big long spring. As you can see, this slides into the spring there and there is a gasket and a seal. You can pull at that point the front button out, noting that the groove goes towards the top of the gun when you put it back together. You can sit it right in orientation how you're doing it. And you'd get in here with your Pell gun. Like I said, I have already done this, but you know what? We can do it twice. So this moving part here, we need to get in and put a little Pell gun oil in there and down in here where you have some seals. This will maintain your seals and anything that moves inside. Anything that has a moving part is what we are going to do. Doesn't hurt to put a dab on your where your slide meets, rub it on, it is your friend, and put a little inside and it prevents this from getting too scratched up. You can also put a little bit on the front here. So that's pretty much all that we're going to need to do. I have done these already. Like I said, it doesn't hurt to put a little bit in everything. It doesn't hurt to have any in the barrel. It's just going to make your tolerance tighter and shoot a little bit more accurately. Not a big deal. So from here, we're going to take our button that we had, remembering the orientation with the groove on the bottom, and we are going to take this and we are going to slide this back into the front of the gun and that will pop out the end. We are going to take this that we shouldn't really have to even remove, but if you want to, it's no big deal. There is no orientation for this. This is pretty much easy peasy. The spring orientation doesn't make a difference either if you get that mixed up. And we're going to slide that in the hole into the front. And being careful with the spring, push the spring forward, line it up, and you can see, right, I'm holding it back for you guys, you can see where that's going to meet this mechanism right here. Make sure it pops on it, and lines up and goes in. Now that just went in a lot smoother than it came out, and that is due to the lubrication. Okay, now we have our top slide done. You can take a little bit of Pell oil and put on your rails here. Like I said, it does make everything smooth. You can put it on your safety where your safety comes in. Anything like that. A clean gun's a happy gun, and a lubricated gun is a happy gun. Make sure everything functions properly. Okay, so we'll take our slide now. Now this can be tricky sometimes, and let me tell you why. Because you have a little pin right here on your safety that holds that, okay? So sometimes that pin will get caught up a little bit when you're trying to put, just like on a real 1911, when you're trying to put your safety or your catch back in. 
for your slide. So we're going to take the slide and remember it is under spring pressure. So we're going to push the slide back where it goes. Okay. And you'll see that that'll all pop together. You'll hear it click. And remember this little groove we were talking about, not the big one, but this little one right here, right there. We're going to take our pin now and this and right here needs to line up with that. So we're gonna slide back, and you gotta be a little ambidextrous for this, <laughs> have some good uh, dexterity anyhow. Um, and you slide that up, you pop your pin back in. Sometimes you have to work it because that little pin doesn't wanna go in. So that's not a bad spot to put a little lubrication either. But as you can see, that fell right in, and now we release the slide, and there's that, and you'll see that your mechanism is cocked. We're gonna put our hand on the safety back strap, hand on the trigger, pull the trigger, boom. And of course, it will not fire until you put your slide back and then beautiful, easy peasy. You can now replace your magazine if you feel good and comfortable with your Pelagon oil. You can put a little bit on the moving parts inside or the spring where you load your BBs. This is unloaded and always, which is very important, put a little dab on where your CO2 meets. And if you want, you can put a little on your threads where the cartridge goes in itself. I go through a lot of this stuff because I have a lot of CO2 guns, a lot of air guns, and honestly, if you got some on your hands, rub it into the magazine. It makes four quick mag drops. Okay, that is it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. Um, I apologize if the video wasn't that great. I'm uh, experimenting with some new uh, photography, and uh, hopefully it'll get better in the future. Thanks, guys, and you have a great day, and thanks for watching. And if you can, please hit that like video, share, subscribe, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching.